That was in the fifth grade when we moved to Cheyenne, Wyoming. But I think of it as my childhood. That's where the exciting part of my childhood took place. When I first arrived in Cheyenne, I could see the mountains in the distance. And I said, I'm going to try to walk out there tomorrow. I said, you don't know how far it is. It was 30 miles. It looks as if it's next door. Air is so clear. My grandfather was a doctor. He came from Yankee people. He was a colonel in the Civil War. I can remember seeing a George M. Cohan show. My mother thanks you, my brother thanks you, and I thank you. That was the uh, old sign-off from the, uh, the Cohen family. I think that is when I became stage struck. Then I remember one place where the audience was supposed to take part, and I took part with a lusty. It was in the dark. They turned the lights off. Boy, did I yell. But when the lights came on, fell in front of me, turned and looked at me, what the, what do we got here? Oh, a wild man or a paid actor? I had a list of all the theatrical producers, and I walked around each day asking the office boys if there was anything doing. In that month of job hunting in New York, that beautiful, nostalgic month of September, I constantly felt a sensation of loneliness mixed with hope, a mood of unhappy happiness so strong it almost made me dizzy. What do you call a job at Garrett and Mellis? What do you call a fashion illustrator? What do you call $50 a week? 50, 50, 50. And for about eight decades, as actor, author, producer, play doctor and director, Mr. Abbott's done his best to keep those audiences in their seats until the final cut. His best work still works, and in an age when our theatre careers erratically between the honest but incompetent and the slick but unfelt, his finest shows offer a good model. As he'd say, peppy but not phony, or if you like, efficient but true. Or to put it another way... Listen, this business of musicals is only one half skill, the other half is something else. You gotta have heart. All you really need is heart. When the odds are saying you'll never win, that's when the grin should start. You gotta have hope. Mustn't sit around and mope. Nothing's half as bad as it may appear. Wait till next, next year, year and hope. When your luck is back to zero. Get your chin up off the floor. Mister, you can be a hero. You can open any door. There's nothing to it but to do it. You gotta have heart. Miles and miles and miles of heart. Oh, it's fine to be a genius, of course. But keep that old horse before the car. Who minds those Coke bottles flying, the hisses and boos? The team has been consistent. Yeah, we always lose, but we're laughing because 